16 million Americans served their country during World War II, but according to the Department of Veterans Affairs, a little more than 3,000, 300,000 are still alive. And that is why a celebration of life for one local World War II veteran was just so special. We meet Marine Charlie Kohler in tonight's Spotlight on Those Who Served. I turned 100 years old and nobody can believe it and I can't either. A special day for one of the last of his kind, World War II veteran Charlie Kohler celebrating his 100th birthday. I made it through a really a tough part of my life was, you know, uh, the war years and, you know, and then getting out of that. And it was a job, but I made it. And uh, here I am, 100 years old. I don't know what the hell to do with that 100 years old. It went so fast. <laughs> Charlie was just out of high school when America entered into the war. I was coming back from a hunting trip in my early teens, in my early 20s, and when we got to St. Charles, we could catch, uh, the, the, turn on the, the uh, radio, couldn't get a signal before that, and the first thing we heard is a Japanese bomb Pearl Harbor. <laughs> the two of us are. I said, do you, what, do you know where Pearl Harbor is? And neither one of us knew, but we soon found out. After reading stories about the heroic actions of U.S. Marines during the Battle of Wake Island that took place the day after Pearl Harbor, Charlie decided to enlist in the Marines rather than be drafted into the Army. That's why I got in the Marines. I said, I'm joining that kind of a guy, a bunch. To this day, he is still proud of his choice for military service. The leathernecks with dirt behind their ears. They love up all the neighbors and love up all the ladies and slop up all the beers. The Army and the Navy and the lousy engineers could never lick a leatherneck in a hundred thousand years. Charlie became a member of the 23rd Regiment of the 4th Marine Division. During his training, he was stationed at Camp Pendleton. It was there that the members of his company made a promise to each other. The last two guys would enjoy a bottle of wine. The last two living. Charlie's regiment fought in the Pacific, first Kwajalein, then Saipan, Tanian, finally landing on the black sand beaches of Iwo Jima. Under heavy bombardment, Charlie and other members of his company hunkered down in a shell crater. But just as Charlie crawled to the top to look out, a mortar shell landed in that crater and killed everyone in there except Charlie. He was badly wounded and began crawling back to the beachhead when he was again hit by enemy shrapnel. It was then that another member of his company, Glenn Moose, found Charlie bleeding out took off his belt and tightened that belt around Charlie's leg as a makeshift tourniquet. Had it not been for that, Charlie would have bled out and died. I cannot begin to tell you how lucky I am because my dad was left for dead on Iwo Jima. And the son of the man, the Marine who saved my dad's life is here. Wow, look at this. Charlie's son, Keith, recently found the son of Glenn Moose, and during this celebration, Dave got to meet Charlie for the first time. Is this my buddy Moose, son? I am Dave Moose, oh Charlie. It's so God, I'll tell great you what. to meet you. I'm honored. I'll tell you what, you had one hell of a dad. I'll well, tell thank you, you. That, I like boy, to, what a guy. I'd like to hear more from you about him. Yeah. Maybe you can tell oh, me some yeah. things well, I don't know. Well, we had a hell of a team, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yes, and so that's, that's, that's kind of the, you know, what Charlie keeps re repeating, you know, Glenn Moose saved my life on Iwo Jima. Dave's father, Glenn, had also been in that crater, but had crawled out just before the mortar hit. How much Charlie really gives my dad credit for, for saving his life, that, that, that aspect was um, new to me. I really didn't know. While the 100th birthday of a World War II veteran is sure something to celebrate, that was not the only reason behind this event. That reason goes back to 1943. The promise that we're fulfilling today, that my dad is fulfilling today, is 78 years ago at Camp Pendleton, 
He and his fellow Marines from the 23rd Regimental Weapons Company, 193 of them, all swore to the promise that the last two of them alive would somehow find themselves late in life and toast to each other on behalf of all the other Marines who had passed away before them. I'm the last, I'm still alive, the rest of them are all gone. So we're gonna cheer them, cheer them all. Before the toast, with an honor guard of Marines in dress blues, Keith honored all the members of Charlie's company. Private Oliver Anderson. Private Robert Brooks. Private Damien Costola. Private Romeo Evangelista. Private Harvey Glenn Moose. But even though he was the last, Charlie would not toast alone. This man's father. 